couch Dogs need the lessons Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff and this time it's a true beauty Gentle on my mind. I love this song and I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes And then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here and everything so you can play it yourself it Goes like this. Enjoy So believe it or not, there are only two chords for about 95% of this song. G, okay, and put your second finger, okay, your middle finger on three on the sixth string because you're gonna need the other three for soloing, okay? Um, so G, okay, and A minor, okay? That's most of the song. That's about 95% of the song. Now, uh, for the other 5%, you need a D chord, okay, or a D7 chord. Okay, so I uh, kind of consider both of these chords uh, the same chord because it's finger style. So um, for the D chord, it's two, four, five on strings three, four, and five. Okay, two, four, five. Okay, and you need the open second string for the melody. Okay, that's why I'm not putting on the whole chord. Okay, so two, four, five on strings three, four, and five. And for D7, it's this. It's the C7 shape, okay? C7, C chord with three on the third string, up two frets, okay? So you have from string two to string five, from the B string to the A string, you have three, five, four, five. Okay, so that's the D7, okay? So um, again, G, just three on the sixth string with your second finger, and A minor. That's most of the song and this D and this D5 for the about 30 seconds out of the song. All right, so let's start the arrangement. Now, um, the melody itself is pretty easy, okay? But you need, um, you need, you have a secondary melody, okay? Uh, the chord changes. It's G, okay? And then it's G major seven with four on the fourth string, okay? With, um, the little finger, okay? So um, I, I wasn't kidding when I, when I said that you're gonna need the rest of your fingers for soloing. So um, the little finger on four on the fourth, okay, on the D string, that's G major seven. And I always play strings two, three, four, and six, okay? And then you have this, okay, G six, which is two on the fourth, on the D string, okay? So you have G, you have G major seven with four on the fourth, you have G6 with two on the fourth, and then it's just G again with the open D string. Okay, so uh, that's your G lick, basically. Okay, and we're gonna need to add, okay, 0, 3, 3, 3 on the second string to it. Okay, so before I show you how to do that, practice this with Travis picking. Okay, so I Travis pick between strings six and four. Okay, okay, my thumb. And when I play A minor, it's strings five and four. Okay, so um, you can play the intro any way you like. Okay, it's just the G lick. Okay, G. Okay, I just play the second string with the bass, and then I arpeggiate. Okay? With Travis picking. That's all I'm doing. Okay? With G, then G major 7. Now you can play, okay? You can play the fourth string on 4 with the sixth string. 
okay? But then you play it again with your thumb, so you don't have to. Okay, you can do this, or you can play the extra note on the D string with the sixth string. however many times you like, okay? Two times, three times, four times, 16 times, okay? Um, it's a beautiful melody anyway, so just just play it to your heart's content, All right? So the verse um, is actually one long verse. Um, and you, you can divide it into two different parts for, you know, for easier practice, uh, but both parts are pretty much the same. The only change is between the D chord and the D7 chord. That's why I showed you all the chords to begin with, uh, because that will make it a lot easier to teach. All right, you'll see. Okay, let's start. So we have the intro. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, it wasn't a mistake, it was just accidental. I didn't mean to play the three. Um, and then you have 0333 three, three on the second string. Right? That's it. With G. And then with G major 7. Right? So you see, the thumb takes care of the major 7 sound, the 4 on the D string, but... Right? I play both strings, okay? 2 and 3, for harmony. Okay? And you play the first bass note, okay? Your, uh, the beginning of the bar is on the first three. So it's and one, and one. Okay, so. Okay? Then you do it with two. So it's the same lick three times with all three G chord variations. open E string. And then you have okay, three zero on the second string, two pull off the zero on the third. Okay, now you can do it with G major seven, but it might be a bit too complex to pull it off. Um, okay, because when you put the little finger on, it's difficult to maneuver uh, that pull off. So. Okay, um, but you can do it with an open G chord. In the original song, it's the major seven again. Okay, but if you find that too convoluted, you know, to put this contraption here, this, this, okay, this, and take the third finger off, okay, um, then just play G. And then you have A minor. Now with A minor, there's also uh, um, secondary melody. It's two on the third string. Okay, and I play the same thing I play in the intro. Just second string with the chord or, or with the third string and then I arpeggio. And then it's one on the second string, uh, on the third string. Okay, it's um, A minor major seven or um, A minor, a augmented or E augmented over A, it doesn't really matter how you call it. Then A minor 7, which is the open 3rd string. Okay, it's A minor with the open 3rd string. And then you put your little finger again on 4 on the D string. Okay, so you have 1 and 4 on strings 2 and 4 okay, with the open 3rd string. So, um, such a beautiful chord, right? So, this is kind of A minor 6 with a low 6. Usually you play, okay, you play the 2 on the E string, but it's a, it's a low one. So you get this. Okay, chromatic. It's 2, 1, 0 on the 3rd, 4 on the 4th. And again, Travis picking. Anyway, you want to play it. Okay, you don't have to play the secondary melody as your first note. Just experiment with it, experiment with different patterns. Right, and then you play the melody. Now the melody is basically the second string on one, three times, so it's, okay? And then you play two on the third string. You can play the two on the third string also before the first one, one, one. Okay, and then 
two on the third string, and then one, one, one again on the second string with one on the third string. And then you need the two on the third string, okay? And then you have the A minor seven, again, one, 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 and then three on the second string, and then you have D, okay? This is technically D6, okay? But you put two, four, five on strings, three, four, five, and the melody is Okay, it's the open second string, two two zero on the third. Okay, so it's okay, you can pull it off. Okay, but you don't have to. And then you play the second string with G and you play the G chord variations. Okay, basically the intro. Okay, just the G chord and the secondary melody. So again, with A minor you had. Um, the D chord. Okay. So uh, actually, when you play the A minor uh, melody line, you you're not playing the the A minor six. Okay. You have this note inside the D chord now. So uh, the note is still there, but the harmony changes. Uh, it's a beautiful song. It's just very very well crafted. All right, uh, and then after you play the G again, you have the exact same melody with G. Exactly the same melody you played before. It's exactly the same. Okay, and then, okay, with the open G, or if you want, uh, okay, with the major seven. See, I got myself confused. Um, and then you have A minor again with... With the two, one, zero on the third, four on the fourth. Told you, it's exactly the same. And then you have the A minor line, exactly the same. Um, no, sorry, uh, this is where it changes. Okay, I told you, you change from the D to the D7. So instead of one, 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 three, you play uh, the original line. And then two again on the third string. And then you have the D7 with 5-5 five, five on the third string. So you have minus 7, okay? And then it's 5-5 five, five on the third string with the D7 chord. And then you have the A minor chord with that last one, 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 three. And then you have the D again. And G. Okay? So um, that's basically it, okay? So before I show you uh, everything, we go over it one more time. You can download the tab, it's for free. The link is below in the description, okay? You can go to the website, download the tab, and um, um, there's also a Patreon link if you want to contribute to these free guitar lessons and keep it going, and uh, you know, everything goes right back to your guitar education. So again, you have the G. the A minor line. Okay? Then you have the A minor melody line. D. And then you repeat everything and when you get to A minor 7, it's 2 again on the 3rd and then D7. And then you have A minor again with 1, 1, 1, 3 and then D. can play everything all over again. So uh, subscribe to the, to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, it's free. Everything is for free, including the tab, the link, and the description, as I said. Uh, I'd be more than happy to have you in the Lick and Ref community, the Lick and Ref family. I consider each and every one of you my personal student, even if I don't personally know you. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.